Yes, uh, good evening YouTube. I got one of these Craftsman batteries uh, torn apart. It's a little complicated inside. There's quite a battery management system on these. There's uh, one large uh, IC, a couple of big uh, FETs. Uh, when I opened this up, I found all the batteries, all five cells, were at like a quarter, 0 0.25 volts. So what I did was I uh, soldered a couple wires onto the directly down to the battery positive, and there's the battery negative terminal, and I hooked it up to my bench supply, set it for about 21 volts and about a tenth of an amp just to see if I can get a little precharge. I was trying to do this externally, but the uh, it seems like the BMS kept shutting off. It would shut off longer and longer and it got to where it just wasn't letting any current in so I thought I might try directly powering the cells and it looks like they're taking uh, it started out about 7 volts and it's now up to 12.8 so at least that confirms the cells don't have internal uh, protection circuitry so there's it looks like they're unprotected cells Let's see, the other thing I found was this is the uh, inside of the case. You can see that here. There's the, the light and the switch for the fuel gauge. And the case, that's the case there. And then there's uh, up on the top, those are uh, two little LEDs there. There's one on each side and those light up the, uh, the fuel gauge on the uh, side of the pl power plug, I guess that is. So there's uh, an LED on each side. I guess they're a, a red-green LED, and then if they both light up, you get the yellow color. And then you've got the positive, negative terminal, and I don't think these are connected to anything. But yeah, that's quite a... Uh, I'll see if I, like I said, I'll try to get some close-up pictures of the the BMS board, I mean, that thing is a, that is a pretty complicated circuit board inside there, and, and you can see these uh, FETs have a pretty heavy-duty heat sink on them. <laughs> I mean, this, this is like a pretty, pretty impressive board. I've never seen the inside of one of these, so I'll do a little more investigating, and you can see we're up to 13.3 uh, volts, just kind of trickle charging it at about a tenth of an amp, which is, that's the, I guess, called the lithium precharge. You you give it about a, just a small constant current uh, charge until it gets up around, uh, you know, 3 volts per cell, and then you can go up to the higher charge rate. So we'll see what happens, but this is a, uh, Kind of interesting. First look inside of one of these. Uh, this was one of my dead, dead cells that really was dead. So maybe all it needs is a little uh, precharge to get it going. And uh, I imagine they do some balance charging on board. But uh, be neat to uh, if you could bring these terminals out to at least check the uh, the cell voltages. Anyway. I'll let this keep going for a while, and uh, we'll get back to you when I have something to report. We'll see you later then. And just a little <clears throat> update on the charging here. After oh, about an hour at a tenth of an amp, it uh, came up over 15 volts, which is 3 volts per cell. So I turned it up uh, about 8 tenths of an amp, 800 milliamps, and it was at around... Uh, I think 15.6 and now it's up to 17.1 and I also checked the individual cell voltages. I just used my voltmeter and went from uh, <clears throat> you got the positive here then the two the negative and the positive for this cell are tied together so I had 3 volts here and then 3 volts to this point and then 3 volts to the opposite side and then 3 volts over here and then finally 3 volts over to the the, the packed negative uh, connection. 
I'll try to bring it up to uh, you know 20 and a half or something like that and see I guess with lithium ion it's 4.1 volts per cell so I guess that's 20.5 total so we'll see how it charges just went up another tenth of a volt there so looks like this pack might be usable we'll see charge it up and then check it in the morning see what the voltage looks like but this would be a pretty easy fix no uh, no cell replacement I don't see any fuses there are no uh, obvious fuses on the board I think the the main uh, battery protection uh, elements are those two FETs there they're uh, pretty high current devices so my guess is this uh, battery pack probably was discharged and somebody just forgot to charge it and it uh, maybe it self discharged farther and got low enough that the the BMS on board wouldn't let it recharge because you don't want to charge these uh, at a high current when they're very low because the, the cells are are essentially a dead short down at that um, low voltage so you have to charge them slowly at like a tenth of an amp until you get up to around three volts per cell then you can charge them at a higher current so we'll see how that works I'll let them charge up tonight let it sit overnight and then see what the voltage is in the morning there could still be uh, something discharging this pack internally so but I guess the only way to tell is charge it up and then let it sit and if it holds a charge then it might be good and I can put it back together and and try it in a tool so we'll see what happens we're up to uh, Looks like 17.6 volts, still at 800 milliamps. So I'll see how it goes when we get up over 20.